Welcome back to another night of Tampa Never Sleeps. Little Marvel action here on a Friday night. My name is All right. So off the start here. Go for the jump heavy. Not going to find much. Trying to find this touch on the Tron. Tron, obviously, a, a very interesting pick to have to deal with. Uh, kind of a weird body. Makes a lot of your combo routes very, very different compared to a normal character. I don't know, man. Hagar can still throw her in here with the pipe and keep it normal. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, uh, like Proxy said, Tron mess you up, but it really affects certain characters more than others. And Hagar does not care, bro. Hagar does not care. The only thing is... Uh, yeah, finding this super is a little weird sometimes. And hey. Sentinel also does not care. And Wesker doesn't care. But you know who does care? Like, Doom. Oh, my oh. God. Yeah, Doom looks like he should care. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not as much about Tron, but... Oh, no, I think he swung. Did he swing? No, he did He jumped. Don't Chicken Garden yeah. coming down with a stand medium. Oh, my God. My dude knew exactly what he was doing. Dude, surprised to see that kind of confidence. I mean, you got Larry and you're swinging normals? I respect that. Uh, JJ Free, bro. This, this is the Chris Benoit of Marvel, bro. <laughs> Canadian Quipple in here, you know? Super for the finish. Takes the kill, gets the tag back in. Doom. Oh, this is Low scary. Again. Oh, no. Oh, that X Factor to save himself. That pipe actually, pipe actually sucks. I know a lot of people complain about pipe. Oh, let's go. Larry at perfectly timed. Oh, that should be more than enough. Yep. <laughs> yep, box him up with forehead. Good stuff there, JJ Cree. Locking down the first one. Yeah, I know JJ made light work of DCH in that first game, but I played DCH before. DCH kind of nice with it. We'll see if he can come back, though. JJ Cree on fire. Again, just trying to be slow and steady. It's hard to call drones against Beam, but, I mean, if you can get the right spacing there, threaten with the pipe at the certain distances, it can be okay. You definitely got to wait for the counter call beam and then pop the drones up. He just is close. Able oh. to get the side switch, gets the trade. Trades are always in Hagar's favor. Jesus, man. It's kind of ridiculous how he can tech forward like that and get the drop kick. Oh, and a little air throw reset there. Perfect. Oh, but the oh. OTG miss. It doesn't matter, though, because we do it again. JJ yeah. knows exactly when the command throw at all times. Oh, he, no, no he didn't that's him. a little greedy, brother. That's a little greedy. See, he picked up the Tony Killer tendency, too. Had, or had that Wesker assist right behind him trying to protect. I'm telling you, the, the OTG assists are coming back in 2024, like windbreakers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're coming back. Can he spin? Oh, just out of range. Yeah, he knew exactly what he had to work with there. But dive. Oh, what an anti air. He, that, was, that was more just a punish than anything, but a punish would crouch light. Which is uh, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, low profiling the foot dive puts you in a perfect position. Super into super, easily gonna be able to secure the kill down to the anchor, but not gonna be doomed this time. It's gonna be the brother Sparta, and oh, never mind. You know, maybe next game. He needs more power. Ain't enough power out there to beat this team. <laughs> he uses the OTG. There's something, the something, super. <laughs> something about it warms my heart. <laughs> It feels like home, like it's a home cooked meal. It's like what, how you learned your first combo, right? OTG assist. JJ trying to make it three straight. He oh, is a killer with that. Standing medium again. Standing medium doesn't even really reach that far, man. JJ really knows how to uh, how to make some of these Ooh. tools work that have shorter range. And trust me, I know all about using shorter range tools. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Got an odd situation to follow up. Does get the full confirm. It's going to go into the super. Ends up spending the X Factor. Go. Yeah. Going to be able to get the kill on Dr. Doom here. Looking good for JJ. Yep. I have to spin the last one, though. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to spend two with the X Factor pop, but still a good situation. Looks for the. Oh, the left right doesn't quite go his way. Almost gets the kill. Look at this pixel, dude. Got a goose off fire, able to get the confirm here. First real stuff we've seen here from DCH. Haven't really been able to get the full confirms yet. This is a big opportunity though. All right, dashing in. Okay, one more hit of chip and that's it. This is looking rough. Committing to jumping light there. It's kind of crazy, catches the up back. 
Oh, what a hard read. Oh my goodness, yo. But so ready for the attempt at the double jump. I mean, when you see Dante players, it's the number one thing you expect first. You don't want to hit, you don't have to guard that mix up, man. So you double jump out of it. There you go. Unfortunately, being a little too predictable with the defensive options will get you chucked by the hooligan. JJ Cree. Yo, that Hagar is kind of ridiculous, bro. Dude, we talked about it a bunch last week. It was exciting to get to see him at the end. And I'm, I'm so happy we get to see more now. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's get it started. Back to it. Nick Bad up once again. And Bread Seller on the Nemesis. We've had some exciting Nemesis matches recently, dude. I'm about this, man. Anytime you get a chance to get a level three, but that won't be the case here. Does Bread Seller normally play Nemesis? I don't think so, right? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Well, Bread Seller about to be my hero if he can make something with Nemesis happen. Why? I already like the setup here. I'm glad Nick Bad X Factor Dormammu because I want a Nemesis X Factor 3 comeback from Brett Seller. All right, I'm calling it right now. It's not going to happen, but I'm, I'm going to call it anyway. Nick jumps too much. Oh my God, the mix ups. Nick Bad. You know, me and Nick Bad actually teamed together for the 3v3 uh, at TNS9. Bro, did you see? Oh! oh! <laughs> Nick Bad. That's a bad man right there. Sorry, Nemesis not dead, though. Build two, not quite. He may be able to. He's got two, but I think he's still alive. He may kill. No, nah, no, nah, he's still alive. I know my, I know, now he's dead, but yeah. I said, I know my Marvel, brother. I do the math. I, I know I just ruined the Say Jam moment right there. You know, Say Jam, Say Jam would be like, why do you, <laughs> If Tong said he's still alive, then he's obviously going to be alive, <laughs> and we can't put this clip on Will It Kill. Still got the pickup on the OTG, though. Handing out the Nemesis. Probably going to go for the snap again? No, oh. instead rolls back to the same side. No assist required. Nick been in the lab, bro? He got some new mix? That was the same mix. <laughs> bro, it just looks new. Level three, that'll be enough to kill. I'm surprised he didn't go after Dormammu again. Maybe just more comfortable with this order. Who knows? Either way, still looking good. I feel like Cap does pretty well against Dante here, especially with Strider. It's hard to get anything rolling. Absolutely, man. You got to get good use of the stinger, especially when he jumps. Dude, these shields just such an annoyance. Does land and block the overhead and tries to go for the reversal, which is definitely a good idea, but can't quite find its mark. Oh, my goodness. Nick Bad. Yeah, Nick Bad not hesitating on those shield throws there. The shield slash has been so strong, especially the air to air conversions. How is he so nice with it? Nick Bad, different player, bro. Bruh. This is this is out of this world, man. And he gets it with the team super. That is another that's an almost perfect to follow the perfect. Nick Bad got some momentum running. My man's on it right now, bro. Like, Let me put my real team on. <laughs> this is not working. Bro, you heard of Fruitsies, Captain America? This is veggie, bro. This <laughs> one step above. Healthier, cleaner. Dante Wesker? Okay. Not something you see as often, but I mean, a pairing that has worked in the past, obviously, for a multitude of players. Did he just pick Jaguar He Nash? did. He did. He did. This mother... I swear to God. This is about to get interesting, bro. Stinger, Jaguar, Dash, Teleport. Red Seller definitely just selling right now, bro. He is, he's throwing. Oi, and then straight into the low, but is able to, oh, reapplies the mix twice. afterwards. I don't think he believed in it, man. He had it twice. The stand M, that was definitely the right call from Red Seller, just a little too early. <laughs> Wesker comes up on him and says, ah, you got that. <laughs> he said, I don't want the smoke, bro. Takes the run away. Unfortunately, though, now it's his turn to come in for the mix. Goes for the double oh. jump. That was kind of sneaky to be able to make it over. Big cross up from Nick Bad. Finds a clean touch. We all the dorm for the second time. Yeah, dorm hasn't done anything yet. I mean, nobody on Bread's team has done anything yet. But uh, we'll see. That's going to be a charging start. Oh, no. A little bit extra damage. Yeah, half the damage just went into the air. I feel like the stage should have a health bar. <laughs> Melting snow. Yeah, you know, it's just like, you know, once you beat the stage or do enough damage to the stage, it just kind of breaks to the next level. 
on some tech and shit. That'd be pretty sweet. I was gonna say, have you heard of Guilty Gear Strive? X Factor? Oh, oh yeah. and the car wheel, man. You know what's crazy about that mix up is that Brett Seller X Factor to see it, but Nick was also X Factor, and you could not tell, and Nick did not care. <laughs> he was going to push Crouch Light anyway. Oh, we, we lost that opportunity. Jazz Cuppin coming through with a $10 contribution to Macharino. Shout out to Jazz Cuppin. Getting that Macharino up. Didn't get very much out of the first instance of Swords, but still okay. Gets a teleport, gets a clean hit. You can't kill off of this, though. I just never doubted yeah, this point. Yeah, you oh, need the reset. Man. You can kill off of it now, that's for sure. It's good that the Macharino is going up while DXP is playing. Because he's like, you know, it's not gonna affect him anyway. I mean, he probably picked his main team because of it. It's best he doesn't know about the match arena because he never wins anything. Oh, oh no, body bag everybody on the team. Oh, sorry, homie. Oh, only got the drug on one, couldn't get the second super off. A little unfortunate, but still, you got a very favorable match it here. Oh, he's standing still. No, he's super jump. He had swayed himself a little bit more forward. Doesn't matter, though. There's Vajra coming through. I might have been wrong. DXP might be able to take out Jason Kiddo here. I might have called it too early. Not enough. Doesn't get the extra hits. Oh, and the Vajra just misses here. Oh, and the hard tag was terrible. I mean, you can't hit DXP with his own tech. You know he's looking for it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He is the inventor of terrible hard tags. <laughs> oh, we got him. Picked him up a little bit. Doesn't get too much else for it, though. And gets to hit on Virgil. So all of a sudden, signs of life right now. I mean, he's already used his X Factor and he lost Virgil. This is looking really good for Kiddo now. Get Magneto in, let Dorm sit in the back. I don't know what purpose that served there. Absolutely nothing. It's all right. It's like war. Oh. It's a deal with a hard kick, but it doesn't matter. He's able to find the try jump, take the kill, Strider all by his lonesome. And he is going to be able to double, double, double jump away. Oh, what a boot of palm. Almost had it here. One Vajra. Okay, out of the way, but not going to matter. This was like a Bart Simpson. You know, Lisa Simpson fight where they're just swinging, and if you get hit, that's your own fault. I almost forgot Lisa Simpson's name. How could I? Oh, you are very fortunate twice in a row that Kiddo was not pressed on Larry. It's two big gaps there. Yo, Shattercoin coming through, gifting a sub. Big shout out to the homie Shattercoin. With a chase down, confirm. Oh, nice beam call there from DXD. Look at this Tony Killer Jr. combos, bruh. See, Tony Killer would have blocked all of this. That little bit extra damage saving Doom, that's definitely huge. DT is not able to connect, though, after the Stinger, so gotta get that lockdown that you were looking for. Cross under. Oh, almost got Larry at two! You know, jokes aside, though, DXP literally knows every interaction in this game at this point. This man has grinded so much. He's forgotten more about Marvel than most of us will ever know. It's too bad, because he should try to remember some of it right now. We're glitching, still got it. Okay, good jump out there. Wow, orbital hitboxes there, saving the day. Go back in, boots up the sword, trying to slow down Jason Kiddo here. Good cross under with the swords as well. Oh, and Virgil's already behind him, so none of that is going to matter. DXP up 2-0. to zero. He said he heard me talking shit about some <laughs> DXP. He said, put some respect on my name. Now, it's definitely a thing that uh, Justin was saying when we were talking about him at TNS, is that he is the product of, like, so if a lot of players uh, in Marvel play, like, freeform jazz, he is, like, the product of science. It's, like, everything is grounded down. His flow chart is ridiculous. Yo, Scootastic, thank you so much for coming through with the sub. Got that leg drop, extra bit of damage, has to go for the mix-up here. <gasps> no way. I, I, he had to get hit by that, bro. Leg drop was definitely safe. I just cannot believe how low to the ground that hit him, and now he gets a full confirm. 
Jeto just might have saved his tournament run here. Oh, the hard tag. You had to know it was coming. Yeah, that's the XP, baby. Okay, got the throw here, extensions. Yeah, so the corner looking good for Kiddo now. See how he can set it up. I mean, he's gonna be left with the two anchors in that weird position here. So, kind of pick your poison at this point. I would say probably kill Virgil. Strider's, I think, a little less scary in the spot. As long as, as long as Kiddo is down to two characters, I don't think the XP cares as much. Now you don't have a choice because Virgil's out of here. You know, DXP Strider is pretty strong, but it's definitely his, the weakest character on his team, right? I, I would agree with that. And as long as Kiddo has Hagar in the back, dude, it's already scary enough trying to do this. Oh, no more Hagar in the back, though. DXP actually managed to snipe him out there. Oh, bros, thank you very much. Okay. Next here. Okay. Caught him. No way. Look, weakest character or not, like I said, DXP is so strong, it doesn't even matter. Well, three. Oh, no, he didn't have it. X-Factor's running out here. Strider's not going to do much damage after this. He needs an orb attack and get a clean hit here. He needs to avoid getting hit if he wants a chance at this. Oh, that's over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he, he's, he's, low pro. Oh, he's so small. That little corner there. Oh, but he drops. Actually activates level three, has orbs. Oh, and this could be enough. One more. Able to get it. Yes. DXP actually 3 0s Jason Kiddo. Boy, was I wrong. All right, let's see it. I mean, hurdle number one can Hagar actually get the hit on Deadpool? Approaching this character is so damn difficult. Yeah, but once he's in, he's in. He's got drones, Ooh. too. He's got drones, and he almost just got happy birthday there. Oh my god, my dude's a genius. He said, Oh, you're going to teleport? That means that you have to show up on one side of me or the other. Hilarious. Plus, spending X Factor, just 100% make sure you get the kill. That's the biggest issue. Oh, he went low. Twice. He went low twice. He realized it didn't work out. Oh. Good block off the Tatsu, though. All right, got the plus frames here. Demon flip right into the Lariat. He spun before Akuma even switched sides, bro. He knew. This is trouble. I'm so glad you didn't take my $1 bet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting DXP's money right now. I told you, man, Zenpool struggles against Hagar. It's not even his fault. It's not his fault. His characters outside of Deadpool just can't do anything against Hagar. And JJ has just been honestly phenomenal when it comes to this. <laughs> this the like pipe. The just pipe. <laughs> Oh my god, JJ, dominant first game. A good game planning too, again, recognizing Deadpool's the only one he really has to worry about, finds a Lariat, immediately X-Factors, just good decisions all around. Yeah, I got the throw here. Okay, able to get out, tech backwards, definitely, here we go for Zenpool, able to get the clean hit. Now you gotta reset though. Nope, going for the snap. That's kind of scary because the Lariat's still there, you know? OTG is the heart of the team. Is it? <laughs> That's true. I don't think we've seen JJ try to play without an OTG assist. Maybe he just can't do anything without it. One more. Oh, no. Phantom Dance going to get him out cleanly, and Wesker is still alive. All that work. And killing Deadpool here. This is going to be all he needs to do because he's still going to have Hagar in the back. We just tag him in. Straight back and ah, yeah, whatever side that was. <laughs> Ryu's going down. I love watching people get hit by Hagar and incoming. All right, Zempo still got that X with a cooler in the back though. Thank you, Lariat, because you know uh, Tatsu's coming out. I would need you. Oh, okay, Zen. That was not me. Yeah, unfortunately, with Hagar going out, this greatly increase, uh, increases Zempo's chances. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing to be afraid of. Sentinel's going to come out. He's going to hard drive. It's not going to work. It's over. He didn't even hard drive. Oh, my oh. God. Never mind. JJ Cree is built different. I forgot who I'm talking about here. Okay. Into the next super. And is able to secure the kill. Big timers. Did, uh, did Yurikov beat score or no? 
probably they really want to win one. <laughs> Almost got them both with the pipe. Very close. Tatsu barely gets away. But got the throw, though. Here we go. OTG building the bar. Should be enough to get Deadpool out of here. Looking good for JJ right now. All right, incoming. He's got him blocking, too. Zempel, oh, normally the oh. type to press. What a nice confirm off the drone from that distance. Oh, no. See, that's the meaty right there. That's what you want to do. You know Akuma wants to push on the way in. You got too many options. All up to low Ryu, man. Command throw. Nope, not going to get a chance. Snap was a good idea, but the DP winning out. All right, Lariat. There it is. <laughs> Zenpo said, get me out of here. That's, that's the best line I've heard. The pyramids were Tony Killer practicing EX size mode. All right. We're going to start the match off with that. He's in for a, he's in for a big challenge here, though, against Milky. And Ooh. that's it. Well, our god is no more. We have a new god now. It's Milky. It's still hope. That hurts. Four bars on Viper. It's time to build some pyramids. Nah, oh, never nah. Mind. Come on. Come on, man. If that was Wesker on the end, I would have believed, but nah, nah. Perfect. Ouch. Okay, oh. said, we don't play this nonsense here, brother. You need a neutral assist against me, he said. Although I beat him at Texas Showdown with no neutral assist, so whatever. So you did the same thing. <laughs> Look, I believe in Tony Killer right here. Game game three, Tony Killer's going to come through. Yeah, that's why I said game three. This is only game two, right? Your math checks out. Warm yeah, up yeah. the Jets. Yep, yep. That should be the kill, though. Good stuff on Milky. Okay, keeping the meaty. Oh, with the low in the jam session call here, Milky. Okay, but he's going to maintain the order here, so it is going to be Wesker coming in at least as the anchor. So, you know, there's opportunity. I, I, I like how he called that assist just to get Magneto out and get the team hyper super with Dante. That was actually kind of slick. Look, man, a lot of people, a lot of people are complaining because I be meat riding Tony Killer. And if we're going to talk about meat riding, bro, it takes till game three when you'll meet this big to warm up, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> It take it take good five minutes, bro. All right, now watch Tony Killer start his shit. Here we're we done. go. We're done fluffing. Here we go. Oh, we okay. back! Oh my god! I tried to warn y'all. I tried to warn y'all. I tried to warn Milky too, but he you know. There we go. And two meters. That's enough to kill Magneto. Monday coming through with the sub. Thirty-nine months. He said the greatest match of 2024. Yeah, it's happening right now. I can't believe it. I'm trying. I, bro, I tried to tell y'all. Y'all be y'all non-believers. Oh. None of this matters anymore. He already lost Magneto, bro. Nah, I'm kidding. Milky about to mix him, bro. Let's keep it real. Milky about to mix him so hard. That's messed up, bro. I knew it. I knew it. But Wesker is coming. Now, Wesker not going to get mixed, bro. He got X-Factor. He ready. One hit. He's out of here. Wesker's yeah, he's here. Oh, you can smell the fear on Milky, brother. Oh, we caught him. X-Factor. Got him both. I oh. told you. I told you. Oh, we got him. Oh, I, and I told you Milky was going to win, bro. I don't know what y'all was talking about. I ain't <laughs> never even heard of Tony Killer before. This is the first time seeing a Tony Killer match, really. Dude, I'm so surprised that Milky took such an aggressive choice there, but dude, it ends up working perfectly. Brother, you, that's Milky. You know he's going to do that. Uh, I guess the Marvel is the real question. Wedge coming up once again, facing off against Clem. Clem. Rocking that oh so familiar team. Yeah, Clem actually plays this team pretty well. Obviously, we see Jason Kittle play it all the time. But we've seen Clem go toe to toe with Jason Kittle before, too. Double jump out. Oh. Okay, not able to get it off the Vodra call. That's the, my favorite thing about watching Hagar play. They all play a little differently. You know what I mean? Everybody's pipe is made out of different metal. <laughs> I mean, my pipe isn't. <laughs> 
I mean, I'm talking about Hagar because y'all know I'm a Hagar main too, right? <laughs> he said, you're right. <laughs> oh, good chip, good zoning. Holding oh. down, finally gets close up for the pipe, has to get away, but the Lariat gets it clean. That's my favorite thing about Hagar is seeing when they're going to spit. You know what I mean? When are you willing to Lariat? Flem took a long time before he spun his first one, but it paid off for him. Ooh, they popped out. I don't agree. I don't agree with using Larry to assist right there. I think that's dangerous. Ooh, right into the stalking player. Oh, he, he just tags in. The <laughs> Strider. Oh, so close. Pixel helped away. Tagging him out. Yeah, DHC out cleanly. That jam session on point was so smart, though. Oh, we got him. Oh, it eats all of it. Million dollars. Yeah, it didn't quite go underneath. I thought it was going to. Off a counter, quick work, smart thinking here from Wedge. Easy X Factor. Okay, cash it out. Algar, you just got chip here, just, you know, neutral guns. I forgot he was alive. <laughs> Not for long, baby. We're back. Okay. I mean, you've got one instance of Larry to assist call left. How are you going to spend it? He's not going to get the spend it at all. One more piece of chip. There it is. Dude, Bolo committing to the same side. I have to look for a TAC or a reset here. TAC is the name of the game. And because it was a down TAC, we could pretty simply end it out. Million dollars. You follow up with Deadpool. That'll do it. Pretty clean uh, game one from Wedge here. There was some slop in the middle, you know how it is. Things get a little scrambly. Hagar found that one uh, interesting situation, but you know. I always feel like Hagar's gonna get their one, though. Yeah, got ahead of the situation for sure. And is able to get a happy birthday to follow. Wedge just been playing too strong, man. It's not even really Clem's fault here. Wedge is just on fire. Did you see that? Yo, Shadowcorn coming through with another gift that's up. Appreciate you, homie. Taking the teleport back in the corner. Stan Jad, there we go with the jam session. We got him. Yeah, good X Factor to save yourself. Oh, but jam session comes and saves the day. Yeah, I like how early he called the two. Was in the air, had plenty of time, was going to be able to block no matter what. So it was a pretty safe situation to be able to call it. I guarantee your knockdown here. Not quite enough to kill. For the meaty, trying to get to the lows. Good blocks. Okay, chaotic plane does connect. Not enough though. Oh, that's gonna be close. Is he even gonna be able to touch the? Oh, <gasps> what a teleport in the throw there. Stalking flare goes away for that and wedge. Wedge too strong, brother. Extra cheap. Amazing decision making to be able to secure two games now with Clem swapping it out. Oh, meaty M on the way down. I mean, we'll see if Magneto Point does a little bit better. So far, it's looking all right. Chuck the Mag Blast is able to stop the Vajra, but the oh, up back it. is getting kind of exposed. He definitely had it right there. I agree with you, man. Right now, Wedge is playing ridiculous neutral. Yep, up guns continue to connect. Dashes up. Gets them both, but luckily, Doramu lands behind Deadpool somehow. Yo, Fetus coming through with the gift and sub. Big shout out to the homie Fetus, as always. TNS channel mod. Okay. Got the one, got the kill, all up to Hagar here now. Yo, Ninja B coming through for the 16th month as well. Appreciate all the love and support. Thank you, guys. Oh! Almost a double dizzy there. Oh. What a push guard, though. I think you wanted a forward throw there. I'm not I don't think that standing pipe was the answer we were looking for. Another so, opportunity, though. He's still in, he's still in. I think he has, what, one teleport left before he explodes? I'd like to see a little more Lariat here from Clem in, the, in these situations where he gets under Deadpool. Wedge is getting a little too comfortable just performing actions right above Hagar here. Spin. That would have been it. Kill somebody. You have three meters or five meters. Yeah, it takes another massive chunk of chip. Goes for the super oh. Gets the headbutt. It's going to be tough for Clem here. 
What a double jump from Wedge, the awareness. Oh, I was not expecting the reset there. I guess the combo not being enough to kill was just enough to make Clem think he had to go for like a jump scare type of situation on the reset. I mean, he could have used the super and then went for the tech chase after that. I mean, yeah, no, he he made the right call. Going for the reset mm -hmm. there, you have to bet it there. That was okay. it. Right. Chun Li back at it once again. I feel like Chun Li does pretty well against Deadpool. Deadpool obviously has good zone control, is able to do pretty decently at stopping her from jumping as well. But the way he interacts with her resets her air actions a lot. He's able to get a ton of stuff set up. He's able to recall that assist very often. As you can see, already two and a half bars. Pretty much. I know, man. That's the crazy thing about trying to catch Chun Li here. I mean. Deadpool is usually the one that's hard to catch, but Chun just can run away and build all the bar. And her offense is pretty hard to deal with if you haven't dealt with the character before. I say it all the time, she's a character that's super difficult to push block if you don't know where to push block her, because her strings move her forward a ton. Oh, got them both. More hits on Dante here. Eccentric's in a good spot, already at five bars. And that point, you're just getting the chip on the spinning bird kick. <gasps> okay, that was about as scary as it ever could have been. <laughs> oh, especially with the hammer there, man. You got to watch out for those invincibility frames. All right, look for the air raid here. Vortex outs. Good blocks on the killer bee. I'm not sure about DT, though, because I'm a little scared about spending meter before you get to the bird here. You need that meter for Virgil desperately. You do. You do, 100%, because you're going to have to fight her at this point. That's for sure. Hammer. Okay, nothing there. Almost hit with the box dish, M. Yep, two misses in a row, a little unfortunate. It's all right though, Centric. Winning out on these trades which is the most important thing. Not only are you already at five bars, but you're winning the life total. I mean, at this point, you can just basically run the time out, whatever you want, man. Okay, got the kill here. All up to Virgil. You already know he's gonna pop the X-Factor eventually, and you can't do it here. You, you need it for Phoenix. Yeah, I like this a lot, Snap. Try and get ahead of the situation as best you can, but is able to get the clean open up there. Just falls down with the S. Still in it. Okay, canceling the DT. Looking for the teleport. Does connect. Oh, if you got that helm breaker, at least she uh, transforms up there. X Factors. And goes for the teleport. Has a great assist in the legs from Chun Li. The lightning legs. Able to completely neutralize that from Virgil. Swords is a good look here. You do got a chance, especially while you have X Factor intact, and now you don't have a chance. Yep, feathers and everything in between, enough to be able to make sure that we secure Centric. Hold it down. But I, again, I do really like the game planning. The, the snap was definitely the right decision. Get rid of her. Uh, you cannot play through the team at that point. It's going to cost all of your meter and all of your X Factor to be able to secure it. Too many chances to reset and not so get the chances. reset. So I definitely agree with what you're saying there. And here we go, a Centric early on, able to get the clean hit, but no, the drop right after. I think this is one of the things where you got to watch out. Zeno has to be more aggressive with Deadpool early on instead of like just playing the zoning game. You know, Deadpools do like to do that from time to time. I definitely agree. Like in this matchup, it oh, boy, good punish. Super negative. But in this Ooh. matchup, I feel like it's uh, it's more about using the guns as a way to cover your approach. Because in the end, your goal is get close enough for jam session to be relevant mm -hmm. and then find one mix off of it. And then you can disengage because that's where oh. Deadpool shines. The disengage is the strongest thing. Yeah, it's it's like you were saying. It's just unfortunate that you can't play that way until you get Phoenix out. And you're about to lose Deadpool. you got to find a way to get him out cleanly. Hard tag, perfect time there. If we're definitely content to let Dante take a couple on the chin. Not too worried about that. Uh oh Clean hit here. Okay, got the corner. TAC, maybe TAC reset. No, gets it down. Here we go. Possibly a little bit of the infinite going to happen. Yeah, something we see pretty often from the Chun players here. I'm not sure how difficult this one is to uh, to execute because obviously anything that involves mashing extra buttons is a little precise, right? I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It just looks like the spacing of the H on the way down, and you need the uh, down M to hit at a good spot. Oh. Yeah, just overcommitted with the ninja tool there. It's pretty easy to open up at that point. Spinning bird kick gets straight underneath. And now, again, Virgil. Okay, DT activated. Stinger, look for the frame trap. Okay, and the trade on the launchers. Oh, went for the DP. That's a great X Factor cancel. New is going to be able to get the punish. Throws the round trip. Morgan somehow blocks everything. Oh, look for the Stinger again. Gotta get snap. Never going to happen. Great adjustment from Eccentrix Morgan. 
And Singer put you into such an awkward spot. Here comes the super. Oh, oh! I wasn't quite sure if he was going to make it. That was insanely clean. Oh, what a nice combo. Eccentric. <laughs> He's looking mad clean right now, bro. I just, I didn't think he was going to make it there because I, you know, it's possible, but it's so finicky with finishing, finishing shower because of how the missiles come out. Brother, I don't even know, man. Like, I didn't even know that one was possible. I always know the one in the corner, but that one kind of got me. I follow enough Morgan players that I'd be seeing, yeah. I'd be seeing some war crimes on the timeline. Jason gonna be like, I put that, <laughs> I put that video out like two years ago. I'd be seeing some war crimes on the timeline for sure, <laughs> brother. We're going to go back to character select a little bit of a slowdown. Is it time? Are we going to switch back Toji? does play Phoenix Wright. I, you are 100% correct, and we're going to get the Phoenix Wright Dante Virgil here. I just... I, I think, honestly, Chun-Li dealing with Maya might help a little bit. Maybe just... Also, you got to always remember the, the ancient proverb, pick your stuff. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100% agree with that. Good RNG on the searches, though. Two out of three, we'll take that. Well, it's like one of those things. If you find a way to get turnabout mode and you can get Phoenix right out and play point Dante and save him possibly later, you have two characters that can deal with Phoenix. But he has to have the turnabout mode activated, though. Yeah, I mean, has a good layout of items here. Definitely is able to ramp up the zoning a little bit. Gets the trade with the papers. Look at that. Oh, I love the little, like, cat and mouse play right there. Put out Maya and put Jam Session back off, but not going to matter here. Clean hit from a center. Yeah, but lands and tries to go for the objection right away. Had a big read of some kind. Tries to go for the TAC reset and nice tag. So now any hit, if it can turn into a TAC, it can turn into a... Uh, yeah, it can turn it in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Here we go. Million dollars. Okay, we're going to use the level one. Oh, yeah. Shadow Servant definitely going to win out, but the trade here. Okay. That was a really good spot to hard tag. That was very good from Toji. Yeah, especially with your projectiles there from Phoenix, right? Does a really good Oof. job of being able to answer. But lands straight down into the standing low. No Level way. three doesn't work out. Had to have been an execution error here. This is such a bad situation now. Only one bar built up for Phoenix. Okay, lightning legs. Shout out to Damn OK coming through here with the sub, man. Appreciate the love and support. There we go. Stinger able to get it. DT, you can combo off of it, but did not believe. Uh, Stan yeah. M's more than enough. I was going to say, you can definitely just skip the lights on a confirm like that. Yeah. Still the eight frames, but huh, not going to matter. That one's going to cost them. Fast up for launcher. Definitely a good idea once again. And Eccentric is just kind of committed to spending the bar at this point, which I definitely respect. Now with Chun-Li in, maybe we can go back to more of that meter gaining stuff, especially with Jam Session dead. Now, Phoenix is the one you got to watch out for here, man. One hit, turnabout mode is active. Good call on the Maya. Trying to bait something here. Oh, Stomp able to get it with the lightning legs on the way down, and we have an X Factor. That's what Eccentric realizes right away. Like, yeah, turnabout mode has to go. This you is get, so dangerous, though. You get two more calls on Morgan here. Ooh, you might not get the chance. Humbrick on the way down. Okay, good block. Definitely a really good situation. Mashing on the legs there. Gets the trade, but can't get the super jump to get the confirm. Looks for the Helmbreaker and does find the kill. It does not matter. You are out of bar and almost out of time, and Phoenix will be here. Okay, good throw. Got to get the kill now. Yeah, and you have to have at least one bar. So you have to save this for, like, about when you're going to pop. Swords. If you can get a kill right now, get her the pop and swords, but not going to happen. Great confirm from Eccentric. Yeah, and it's even worse at that point, too, because if you're able to find the touch uh, around that time, you're able to go into swords, make it take forever, and you can potentially just win on a timeout like we just saw there. There was a way that Toshi could have done it. It, it just it just didn't fall out that way, you know? It happens, man. It's so hard to catch Morgan already. Uh, normally, when you see this offline, uh, this is definitely uh, more favored towards DXP, and starting off, look like it's going to be favored towards DXP here on the Parsecs as well. But he's not going to be able to kill off this first touch. That's, like, the one thing about this team. It does decent damage, and I love the for the snap here. You take care of the drones and there's no way for Hulk to really approach you safely. And that's a clean hit here for DXP. Melon, I will talk to uh, an admin of some kind. Thank you for pointing that out. 
Got to get Sentinel out. Vajra able to clean it up here for DXP. Got the round trip cross under. Rapid Slash again. DXP on it right now. Yeah, easy X Factor. You leave it all up the Hulk there, man. That's the one thing that sucks about him is in X Factor, he doesn't even get a speed boost. One, two, or He's three. A horrible anchor. Uh -huh. <laughs> he can kill, though. Speaking of people who need help. <laughs> yeah, he needs help. Uh, that's true. Well, there you go. I mean, that is uh, the Anchor Hulk experience. Didn't really get to play the game much, but uh, to be expected. It, yeah. I mean, DXP dissected the team pretty good. You know, snapped early, went through Sentinel, Nova, and then it's like, all right, Hulk, you got this, right? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely one of the big weaknesses of this team and, and of, of a lot of teams that have Nova and Hulk on them. Generally, Nova and Hulk teams almost always just have one neutral assist, so they're really relying on being able to keep that team in order. They have to win 99. It's so important. For sure, for sure. But that's the one thing. If 2 to max gets the hit here, it can go down real fast for DXP. That's a big if, though. It's an if, but, you know, he can do it. He's a good player. He's safe on that. Look for the chicken guard. Okay, back off. Oh, I don't think DXP expected him to come this way. Yeah, or Ooh. maybe just thought his normal was going to come out in time because that is, uh, it does go through projectiles, but it will lose to uh, to normals. It's super high priority, but it's not invincible. Yeah, for sure. But here we go. Hard tag off the lunar phase. Looking good for DXP here. Extensions going to build two, possibly getting the swords here. Yep, getting the swords is definitely the correct choice. As optimal as you can. Tag, you could have, oh, you could have hit him for sure. DXP probably could have had him. I think neutral tech jab on Nova might actually hit him too. Oh, he's going to go for two? Oh, yeah, X, DXP knew right away and popped the X Factor. Here we go, got the round trip from in the lockdown. Cross under good blocks from D, uh, 2 to Max here. And again, X Factor is running out. 2 to Max does have a chance still. Ooh, not like that though. There we go, got the beam, got the cleanup. All of the Sentinel, man. That's a rough one versus Virgil. Yeah, I mean, he's not like the worst anchor, but like you said, Virgil specifically is so good into him. So uh, the threat of instant overhead when Swords is on at all times, <gasps> ridiculous, but here we go, gets the hit. All takes is one. A clean one right here, Dr. Doom on incoming, just don't get foot though. Good M. Air to air M's versus Doctor Doom is probably what you want to go for, or the command throw. And I feel like no orbs and relatively even meter here. This is not a terrible matchup. Probably slightly Strider, but like Sentinel can fight this. Shots to Team Spooky, by the way, coming through with the raid. Appreciate you, homie, the legend. Let's Thank go, you very Spooky. much. There we go. Gonna get to see some of the Strider action. Go for the level three. Does connect. It's gonna be close. You get a follow up, but it's really tight. Yeah, he opts not for it, right into the hard drive. Oh no, but hard Ooh. drive doesn't quite work out. Still is able to find him oh with good God. movement. He's gonna build another bar too. Crouching medium. He got yeah. it. Short, simple, to the point. Rocket punch and a super and wow. D. Oh man, two to max. He's on the board. That's all it takes, man. Just staying in the game. That's what's up. I respect that. Strong showing. Way to stay in it, too. Uh, the best part was that stray hard drive that hit. Yep. Two to Max realized right away that he was going to pop out of it and was ready for the scramble afterwards. How these rounds starts from uh, from DXP also. A lot of times he just starts with, with standing fight. He goes as aggressive as he can, presses as fast as normal. When you uh, when big bodies know that you're respecting them is when you lose. I think that's a fair assessment there, definitely for sure. I mean, 90% of their hits are like fear and Rain preying traps. on, on <laughs> and preying on errors, right? Yeah. There we go. Got the sword booted up. One more lunar phase. Oh, but dropping the crouch age there and stand age here from two to max coming through. Good presence of mind. Has to go for the team super. Was not going to be able to pick that up any other way and is able to get the kill. Jumping over. Got the drones. Okay, able to get out here. Shout out to all you and uh, redeeming the, uh, the codes, man. We appreciate that. Dude, this is Doom. Gonna die off a Gamma Charge. And, oh, I love this even more. The snap is so smart. Okay, look for the low. And again, the command throw, but just low profiling here. 
dude. The first world problems, two plus in those situations. Can't quite find the command though. Here comes the orbs. Okay, gonna try and slow him down here, but not gonna matter. Ouroboros is still active. Clean hit, but you're not an X Factor. Not gonna do a lot of damage. Gotta get the TAC. Oh no. Dude, and he resets it just because. Doom gonna come in and have one more opportunity and the second touchdown. You're gonna have to get Doom a new helmet after that, bro. <laughs> Your boy <laughs> loves forward heavy. I respect that twice in a row. Forward heavy is uh, a pretty damn good butt. It's a jump scare. Nova's don't, Nova's don't use it because it is widely accepted as a not a super strong overhead. I think it's still good. You got an overhead, that's great. <laughs> I I definitely agree. And especially with the uh, the scare of Crouch M, man, you know, having that off the options, it's a good yeah. thing. You got Yeah, I 100% agree. That's one thing that people don't think about enough is thinking about people's tools in context. When you have Nova's crouching medium, that makes that overhead so much better. Yeah, if you had a pretty bad M, you know, like, let's just say Dante's kind of okay. If you had that, yeah. it would be terrible, yeah. you know? But the way his moves forward, it works. And speaking of moving forward, man, this is working right here. Punish, extend it as far as you can, and is able to build that extra bar. That S is super finicky, even in X Factor. All right, now you gotta catch Doom here, jump over the drones, get a look with the fuzzy guard jump light. That instant overhead block was so sick from DXP. Unless he was just holding up. I don't know, man. <laughs> Photon's gotta slow it down here. Then it was a little less sick. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I like this, just keep chipping away. Molecular shield might have not have been it. Right in the sweet spot. Okay, you're still alive. Got him to spend a bar, though. That's huge. With Strider oh. being the anchor, gets the damage. Oh, a lot of damage. You can keep going at Strider there. That's why DXP Photon right there. Yeah, you you have no bar, no assist call, uh, covering you there. Smart. Get out of the corner. Ooh, DXP bleeding, but he still has X Factors, so there's still a chance here. I don't know when you decide, may, maybe get uh, Strider in, pop the X, get some health back for Doom, just to keep the team intact. I think he's confident in blocking a Nova Sentinel. Oh. Incoming as we find the throw. As soon as you get into a stare down with Doom there, you're in a losing situation. And this is a winning situation right here. X-Factor is popped for DXP. Health is going back to Strider and Dr. Doom, and now you're just up to Sentinel. And Orbs versus Sentinel? This is rough. He needs to super jump out and find a way out of there with a hard drive, possibly. Yeah, all you can do is hold up and pray. And unfortunately, DXP understands that as well as anyone. Oh, yeah. Bird Bomb going to tie it up 2-2. Two to two, And we're off to a game five here. Yeah, Bird Bomb is one of the most nightmarish tools in that matchup because you can mix up between normal Bird and Bird Bomb. And uh, Sentinel has to deal with those two significantly differently. If he has no bar, you can Bird Bomb TK Graham, yep. which is pretty... Uh, it's hard for Sentinel to deal with. Yeah, you just kind of have to. Every time he does it, you just kind of have to take some chips. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but here we go, man. Trying to get in. DXP's already spent through the bar. Got one more, so you already know the swords are coming up. There he is. Super. Didn't quite build the second bar, though. We've seen that punish from him a couple times in a row. This time it's not going to work uh -oh. out. Almost gets two. Look at the pressure. Okay, I even like that the uh, to the max backed off. He knew. He was like, all right, I didn't get him here. Let's get another chance. He even slipped in the overhead is. assist. Absolutely spend everything. Get rid of this green guy. Such a great call from two to max. Now you're getting the health back on the Hulk here. If you can get a clean hit on Doom, this is gonna hurt. Gonna get a look. Command throw in does! There we go! I love how cleanly his team tags on that too. So sick. And when you have Nova in front, the team DCs really well because Meteor on the way up. Boy, you dead. I mean, this is one of those things where, like, Strider can kill two characters very cleanly. Luckily, Hulk has very low health, but you got to pop the orbs early. So if you can catch Nova and then go for Sentinel, I mean, I feel like that's a pretty even matchup out of X Factor. Yeah, I mean, the big differential is going to be those two bars, but Nova gets away, which is going to make this even more annoying to deal with. Okay, you're definitely going to be safe in X-Factor level 3. You can do one more. Uh, depending on your timings, too, you can do the Coach Steve normal Ooh. jump S with drones, but not going to matter too much here. Strider is going to take his kill. No, oh, he needed one more. Able to catch off the hard tag. It's not going to kill. You're definitely going to get a look for Oki here. That snap is so smart. Hey, he might need two blocked Vajras for this to work on Chip. One more Vajra will do it. Okay, Bert, uh, the bomb release. Yep, 
orb's definitely good enough in that spot. And you can see mixing up between bird bomb and normal bomb. Like, like I said, it's very, very different how to deal how you have to deal with the two. He said, throw a cheetah in there once in a while. <laughs> Some tigers, oh, why not? This is gonna be optimal because he has the bomb as well. It's gonna hurt. Could have went for the gram here, but that should be enough to kill out. And DXP. Able to clutch it out there, man. Very close set. Super sneaky on the cross up too. Being able to get back to the other side was just insanely clutch. Strider play was good, man. He, he knew the matchup very well. Obviously, he's played the character enough, man. Like you were saying, Bird Bomb, regular Bird. Like, that is a very solid matchup against him. I don't like it. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> I'm just, I, just I, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, torpedo, I think? Probably. Yeah, I'll probably use this. This is Torpedo with Storm. You can get the high-low mix right there and possibly sub unblockable if you want. Oh, just going to be able to get into the infinite, though. I wonder what the plan is here. Kill? Well, yeah, but... <laughs> with the is that going to be in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, should, I, should. I know that. I know that. Okay, just got to watch the EX Seismos. Never get a chance. Oh, and I love the instant overhead S. Yeah, one of the nicest things about... Oh, no, your whole team is just gone. I was going to say, one of the nice things about Storm is how many jump cancels. Peasy! Peasy, boy! With a hundred dollars to the match, Arena Peasy. Good, My dog. Good boy. That's a single god right there. Let's go, Peasy. We appreciate all the love and support, man. Seriously. It's always good seeing you when we get a chance to, man. Thank, Thank you, bro. That's so kind of you, man. Thank you. Again, as always, 100% of the match, Arena does go straight to the player. So beefing up that prize pool just a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean triple digits. A big bit. Good god. Big bit. There we go. But Tony Killa on the start here. Gonna have to get a reset and looking for the helm breaker on the way down. And again, oh! Okay, good confirm from Luna here. You have two bars, you get a little bit of the hard tag. That's definitely a good call because that's the one thing Storm struggles with is the scaling off her hits. It does yeah. absolutely terrible. Yeah, not very much damage and not very much meter gain. So she struggles in those departments a little bit. I mean, other than that, like her mobility and all that, she's she's very good. Combo routes make a lot of sense. It's not too finicky. Great super, super for sniping amazing. assist and yes. DCing, yeah. And OTGs, all that. Oh, okay, here comes Wesker. Trying to help out, looking for the low. And again, with the teleport, Samurai's edge call. You already know, man. If you've watched enough Tony Killer, you know that's definitely going to come here once, twice. <laughs> Easy. McDonald's is the same price as five guys now, bro. I feel you. It's, <laughs> it's hard out here. <laughs> you at home. There you go. Here comes the super. Going to snipe him straight out of the air. Good missiles? amount of damage and missiles to be able to pressure afterwards. I like how Luna's playing this. Like, he's playing very patiently. Okay, missiles. Oh, almost had it. This is actually putting him in a weird... Oh, no way. My. And even though it crossed up, it still hits. That's Tony Killer for you, bro. You already know, man. I feel like he finds very unconventional ways of getting crazy hits. Burn kick right into Rapid Slash. You are so fortunate. I love it. That Tony me. spared your She-Hulk. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. There we go with the level one super. Able to get the kill here up. The She-Hulk anchor. FADC looking for the unblockable, but the snap is whiffing. There's no way, right? Not two characters in a row. I'm He's going to do it. That's going to hit. Absolutely! Oh. <laughs> Cross under. Oh, look at the command throw, but not enough. Great adjustment from Tony, and that should be it here. Luna with a great idea, yeah, though, because idea. people people omega sleep on the on the uh, the heavy command throw. Well, most of the time when they're playing against it, they're like, "What is this? I've never played a She-Hulk." This is so funny. <laughs> Gets both, goes for two, should be able to get the kill. I love that X Factor just to keep it as safe as possible. And this oh, DHC works beautifully this together. This is going to hurt. He said, All <laughs> he said, why does that whip? He said, you're not allowed to command grab Tony. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I don't really feel like I've ever seen this matchup that often. Storm and Viper, you know, some of the characters are not represented as much. Looking for the frame trap with the super, though. Does connect and gets out of the way of the missiles. What greatness from Tony Killer here. Great is all this man delivers. Sets the kill. Is able to get with the super. All down to She-Hulk. Oh, no. Level 3 does connect. 
going to waste a lot of that X-Factor time. Be ready to whiff a burn kick to get out of a reset. That's all. That's all doesn't I'm saying. Doesn't have the bar. Be ready to whiff a burn kick. <laughs> it doesn't even need to. Tech gets him high enough in the air. Okay, looking for the frame trap. You don't have to really worry about projectiles from She-Hulk. Besides Street Lamp. Street Lamp usually is a missed plank, though. Yeah, <laughs> right? It's like, oh. All right. Tony's still in this. Oh, anti-air crotch jab. Able to make it happen here. Yeah, I don't know. You're always going to have to reset something. I mean, that's the one thing about Jenny. She has a lot of health. Okay, oh. good start here, though. All the way to the corner. Yeah, EX uh, Seismo. Yeah, you got one more. That could be it. EX Seismo in this. Yeah, EX Burn Kick instead in the level one. That is it. Yeah, I mean, I I believe that Guaranteed sets it up. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that EX Burn Kick is a soft knockdown, so you always get your follow-up here. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. All right, next match, though. Eccentric facing off against Milky here. Obviously, the uh, the number one piece of the game plan here is just just get away from Magneto. Build as much meter as you can. Stay safe. We'll see how you do that, man. Oh, that's a good start from Eccentric here. Off the air throw. Gets the TAC side. Yeah, definitely no down because you're looking for the bar here. So able to get some of this infinite started and build some bar. So, I mean, it's one of those things. I think Eccentric gets the four. You're pretty good, man. I would cash out, possibly kill Magneto. Unless your execution's godlike, which it looks like the Centrix is. Yeah, normally what you'll see here, I think, especially for the Morgan team, is you'll secure the kill. Uh, uh. Possibly look for the hard tag. Yeah, almost okay. had it there. Let's say once you get to five, you kind of unlock the ability to use Astro Vision, right? Now you can pretty yeah. safely depend on it. If you want to. It's just the only thing is, is that you don't really have the assist to make a Morgan team work. You have yeah. Lightning Legs, which kind of is like a good off me move. Yeah, but if people choose to just super jump and just chill, you don't really have a lot to deal with that. She's not as scary without like a jam session, a Vajra, or missiles, you know? Like, she, you can, she's still really good, but you know, like missiles just makes her ridiculous. But here we go. Milky's gonna show you how infinite is done. Let's get boring. I don't think that applies to that. I think it does. Really? Arc Forge. Arc Forge with $125 to the Mazzarino. Dude. Back to back, triple digits into the Matarino from PZ and Arc Forge. Good God, dude! Thank you so much. That is ridiculous. Oh, Milky you dropped it too. It's fine. It's I had faith. Here we go. Look for the media H right there. Good blocks from Eccentric. Even better throw here. Now, if you can get Magneto killed, this is all tied up. Two to two. Oh, we're going to bring her in right now. I actually, I like the aggressive play here from Eccentric. He knows. He's like, I cannot allow Milky to take this. I have to take it. Yeah, definitely take it to him. Be as aggressive as you can. You know his incomings are ridiculous, so you don't want to give him uh, yeah. the opportunity to maybe make you have to deal with it. Bro, that side switch was super clean. The cross under. Oh, no, but the drop here. The delay in the top. Oh, but you can't stop. Pringles? Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. You see me. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while, I'll put something out there that rhymes. There you go. TAC follow up. Pretty easily secures the kill. And he steals the bar just because. Put it in the bag. Absolutely. 15 seconds left. All up to Dante here. And you got to make her pop. This is pretty ridiculous. This is a hard ask. Yeah. Any hit goes into the infinite as well. I mean, Phoenix is able to uh, pretty much loop it by herself. It's like another one of those things. It's like Phoenix is, you already got to deal with her at five. She's really hard to catch, too. She has crazy mobility in this game. Oh, yeah. X Factor, one more. Level three. Yeah, I definitely think that some people kind of forget because they're so tunneled on uh, Dark Phoenix. Jean Grey is just a good character in general. She already functions as like a fully fleshed out character. If, if it was like what they did for uh, Palette Swap and stuff like that, if she had more health and whatnot, she could be played just normally like that. She is very Dude, good. Just give her 800 and she's a great character. For sure, for sure, <laughs> she's a for great sure. Character. I, I would still be, I'd still be happy to play her. Yeah, she moves down the tier list a little bit, but you know. Yeah, but I would prefer that, you know, that five bar shit not happening. <laughs> Bro, me too. Oh, God. I'm sure a lot of people. <laughs> Got the snap. <laughs> Best situation we've seen so far from Milky. And Eccentric kind of just ignores it. Mm, goes for the frame trap to see if they're going to be pressing there. Going into the Astral Vision. Definitely a good call. Got to get Milky off of you, though. There we go. Get some of the fireballs going. 
But you got to find a way to get Morgan out of here. Milky, aware of the situation, knows that he cannot let Morgan stay alive. Got to go. Tap him to again. I got a little bit of hesitation in his movement there. Slowing it down intentionally. Very smart. DHC to get out, though. Zero bars available. But Ooh. Phoenix still alive. Yeah, but if you're not building bar, that's a good start, though. If you can get Chun-Li back in, this can get your team back in order and get the up. Uh, there we go. That's definitely the way. But you got to watch those calls. Give Morgan some time to get some health back, and then you can start calling her again. Because she builds like one-third per call. He's so perfect on counter calling. Every time Morgan's come out, she's got popped by an EM Disruptor. I don't know. I mean, just trying to keep oh. the team alive, but unfortunately that requires a sacrifice of the bird. I don't know if that was it. You had him. You just got a foot dive. You're still plus. Okay. For the super. Oh, no, that might get hits. Definitely going to be able to block, but still not a great situation. We're going to spend another bar to kill more X Factor time and just kill Morgan overcommitted. Milky was ready for that one right there, man. Right off the photons. Looking good. Same stuff with the jam session. It's going to be a lot, a big he's, hill to climb here for his century. He's man. so done. There's no way. A little unfortunate, but with this amount of life against this team, just. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Don't count them out yet. I'm counting them out. I want to be proved wrong, though. Oh, I would love for you to be uh, proved wrong. Okay, I don't know about that. Trying to catch Magneto, though? Magblast, Shockwave, call it. 14 seconds left, not enough time. Good job with the mobility there from Milky with the drop into the S. Okay, even in that up, crucial, crucial to keep yourself in it. Plenty legs. Oh, the punish on the assist, but look at the chase down, though. Yeah, not even just necessarily against Eccentric, but going down in the set against Phoenix puts, like, a different kind of pressure on you. Oh, for sure. Avoid it like the plague here. Locked down. Gets the raw tag. Milky just not ready for it and finds a throw. There we go. Already up to three here for Eccentric. Looking good. Look for the reset. The cross under, man. So fast. Camp session, not able to get there in time at four. So Phoenix is almost as good as here. Ooh, jam session Magneto is kind of dirty, bro. Yeah. See, no, not having it. It was like, hey, I know you're not going down because that's what you expect, right? I bet he just hard. That was bold. Side. That was bold because you could have lost it there if the one time. Back up, tries to swing with the light, trades with the fireball, easily in Morgan's favor, and then tags into the Phoenix. I, I like the aggressive play, especially against Milky, because you're trying to take this game away from him. You're not going to give him the chance to take it away from you. Milky's got a, a clear game plan in mind, and that game plan is foot dive. I was going to say, <laughs> not blocking, God. which one? There we go, got Morgan in for the infinity here. All right, and this is one of those ones where you definitely do it to completion if you can without spending any bar because Dante kind of cooked in this spot. I mean, at bare minimum, spend one. But, I mean, with Doom alive, there's still the potential for magic. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Especially with five bars and X Factor, uh, Sphere Flame DT is a really good post-pop uh, DHC. Yeah, for sure, 100%. Definitely gives you a look. Teleport here. No, same side. It all comboed with the Stinger. Great awareness from Milky. Then just, oh, man. That was his character so well. Okay, going to go for a million dollars. Okay, and he has X Factor. So this is actually really, really good. Potentially can use the tech here. Goes for a Revolver for the lockdown. Oh, great air air. Gets her the pop at the top. Okay, there we go. Eccentric. Dante is fried right now. Look at the adjustments. Confirmed everything. Here comes the trap. Here comes the block. But you just can't block forever. Milky, fortunately, losing out on that one. Eccentric down to potentially the final game. Mundank, I agree, bro. I'd never seen the combo land like that. <laughs> that was definitely freestyle. Look for the air to air H. <laughs> Zach tap. Hey, listen, bro. Sometimes it'd be rhyming. Just St. Cola. What do you want? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. He coming at you because you said they both suck at the game. <laughs> hey, listen, bro. Like <laughs> he said, I as heard that. Who, as, someone, Nemesis. as someone who sucks at the game, I, I'm an expert in uh, pinpointing it. He <laughs> said, so I suck at the game, too. <laughs> oh, my God. But here we go. You know, securing that infinite five bars already there. Here we go. I already got the five, though. I respect that, like that. <laughs> Everyone sucks at the game. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Satch coming through with the raid of 11. We appreciate that so much. Ooh! That was so <laughs> gross. They hit Spears twice in a row in the jumping light. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> See, Milky just does things like that, and you're like, bro, when could you have ever... Oh, who hurt you that you think of things right? like that? That is crazy. <laughs> I love the idea, though. Gets the pop, gets the setup, goes for the teleport. Okay, Revolver again? Milky's been trying to use that move a lot. Okay, H got the look right here, going into flight. Oh, but the stand M able to confirm here for Milky. Opting for the snap now. Opting for death. So you've chosen death. So you've chosen death. Back into the traps. Doom, unfortunately, loses out on a meter right away. Just killing X-Factor time, which is definitely a great call. Another one. Punish. Right over. What a punish from Milky. That vacuums him all the way to the front. Oh, my God. Just jumping on Doom. And again, H on the way down, spinning bird kick. Oh, what awareness from Eccentric to get out of there and just spaced it perfectly. Yep, two bars. Don't mess this up. Straight into the super. There you wow. go. Eccentric, three games to one to take it over Milky. What a win from Eccentric right there, man. Well played, well played. LT and Wet. See? Let's get our match going. Hello, Jetta. <laughs> Enjoy. Right off the rip, is able to find the overhead. A little bit of... Damage on Dante, not gonna matter too much here. The crumple comes through, the tag, and that's an easy kill on Deadpool. Yeah, I don't see LT dropping this. Infinity Easter egg, I <laughs> forgot, bro. I forgot, truly, I forgot. That was a thing, man. All right, here we go. Spencer with the meanie on incoming. Oh, yeah, staying in the air just a little bit too long, and the jawbreaker coming through for LT. Oh, man, and Wedge is going to lose Dante for this one for sure. It's going to be all up to Strider. I mean, we talk about it a lot. Strider is so good to kill two characters, but that third one, you got to work very hard. Especially when there's so many good supers on the other side. Doom, an amazing super to slow it down. Bionic Arm, needs no introduction. Human Rocket Punch. Oh. This is heavily scaled, though, so it's going to make it take even longer. He can still kill. He has to spend three, though. No, he's going optimal. He's going to try and spend one. I respect that. It does take a lot of time to do, but. Out of the teleport, okay. Now we got another set of orbs. Oh man, this 9 1 matchup is crazy. <laughs> he got zero value <laughs> off orbs. Don't get me started again. <laughs> nice block. I had confidence. I said nice block before. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. Confidence. You already knew LT was going after him. <laughs> Good follow up though. LT takes the first one. Player one wins. Go for broke. Fight. is only good when stalling and having X Factor 3. That's when it shines. And otherwise, it's like, man, I really spent three, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it happens, bro. It happens, man. That's the way the game's played sometimes. Good start and follow up. Oh, man, You're, you already know, like, Spencer's damage is devastating. It, it's so bad, and he sets up an incoming. Same side, job breaker. No, okay, going for the meaty this time. I do like that. He's saving. He's saving the command throw for later. Yeah, I feel like he is the Spencer who has kind of cracked the code on it. Uh, maybe he uses it. I feel like some people might think he uses it too much, but I think he is... Uh, Definitely pushing the metagame on being able to actually utilize it. 
Who am I to tell him he uses it too much? It hits but I mean, yeah, I people agree. be getting hit. LT do does work. There you go. Even there, that's a situation where if you're blocking that beam, if you go for the push block, that's a command throw in reaction. Mm -hmm. Super fast with the hard tag here, and LT gonna go up 2 oh real quickly here. All right, man. Wedge gonna take some time here. Yeah, character select slow it down. It, it, it's definitely a good call when you know two games has happened fast like that. Slow it down. Get some thoughts back. Figure out what you want to do. How you want to attack LT here. He hovered Virgil for a moment. Mm. Yeah, the mm. the green goblin mask was talking to him. <laughs> he was <saying, laughs> <"Pick me." laughs> he he having a he was having a conversation with himself there. We'll see, we'll see. He's playing his stuff, man. You just got to slow it down, find a way to get this hit. Not let LT push you in the corner like this. Yeah, but LT switch threads, little jersey swap on the coach. He's on the coach stuff right here. Teleport, look for the lows there. Okay, good block from LT. Dolphin kick on the way in, getting some pressure, though. Dude, and every single portion of that sequence was so sick. Oh. Wedge had the hit. That was your moment. You're not going to get another look like that. Unless. He got another look like that three <laughs> times in a row. <laughs> oh, my God. Now you just got to know, you're not going to get a fourth look. <laughs> Nobody gets Nobody six gets. looks. <laughs> Good God. Here we go, Wedge. You're going to get the 50 50. Good blocks there. Look at the underneath. Chills, nice defense, knew the overhead was, you were, you were in a situation where the only way an overhead comes out is reactable. Ooh, that, bro, that was sloppy. That was so clean. Okay, got enough to kill here, cash it out. Killed him. He knows, he knows, he knows. Oh, the pop. Watch the missile. Never come out. The assist going to get blown up, though. Yeah, and after taking half your life on Dante, mm -hmm. it just felt like he needed to retrieve a little bit. Vajra gets the hit. He was going to oh. take a beating for it. Nice heavy guns on the ground. That was very good. Didn't even overextend himself. Said, I'm going to keep this calm. And just wait until you get into my trajectory. Oh, LT. Oh. Quite. I think Butter Gun maybe worked there, but either way, good effort. But unfortunately, effort is not enough in a spot like this. It was gonna get shot up. You gotta have, you gotta have heart. That boy's not bulletproof. You gotta have heart, bro. Wedge got it. He has it, man. He's coming in. He's coming back. I feel like the biggest things have just been uh, getting more opportunities like that, where you're you're the one kind of pressing the mix-up. Also, just better positioning. It's just felt like he's been in the corner less, right? Like he just he's not getting pressed as much. He's fighting, man. Here we go, bringing Dante in. He's fighting. That's the one thing. It's like if you're blocking in Marvel Three, you're probably losing. Not all the time, but a, a lot of the time. A clean eighty-five percent of the time. <laughs> Okay, look at the jump over. Brain trap, yes. Bates a push block, Bates an attempt at a throw. Also just beats mashes. Really, really strong stuff. Have you ever uh, wondered why Deadpools go crouching light into grenades so often? That is a picture perfect example. Oh, and it kills just enough as X Factor runs out here. Same side, great adjustment. LT's been blocking the cross up there and Wedge just, hey, let it, let it be simple. Not going to be enough to kill, but you're able to cash out and reset your teleports, which is vital right now. Wake up super, definitely cool there. Now this matchup, you know, this matchup's kind of... 9-1? 9-1? 9-1 matchup? Maybe. Oh, uh, with Vajra, maybe. Yeah. With Vajra, Dante too? Vajra jam session, maybe. Either way, yeah. that'll do it. Cook him up. LT's godlike. I don't know if he's handling a 9-1. Wedge has evened it up now. 8-2? Okay, I'll take it, too. I'll take it, too. Squirrel, I'll take it. Okay, good back off. Love the use of the wall jump, too. Look how, again, effortless out of the corner. Oh, okay. Not able to get hit here. Look for the lights. Looking for the frame trap again. That's Jamie Spaz, by the way. Let's go violence. 31 months. Appreciate you. Speaking of violence, look at the quick work. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team Hyper Super there. Get the kill. Get Nova out. Next touch on Spencer. Definitely X Factor here. That might not even kill, though. I mean, Spencer does have a lot of health. Oh! <laughs> he had to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of, uh, speaking of things you had to do, that was a ridiculous command throw. Is able to secure it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I felt it, bro. You Jawbreaker. Saw, you even saw the platform, the red circle, the animation of his double jump had already come out. He was trying so. That boy was mashing up. <laughs> he, hit, he hit double M meaty on incoming. And I was like, oh, here comes the beam. <laughs> All up the Strider here. No X Factor. This is uh, going to be a lot of work here for Wedge. Luckily, if Strider kills Spencer, he automatically Strider, beats Doom. Strider, yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, he's never going to get a chance because the ADK Master does so much damage. He doesn't, yeah, see, he didn't even have to do TK. He could have just literally just spear, fl or spear flame and called a day, man. What a fire set, though, man. Three to two. LT's going to take that one. All right. Let's see if uh, TJ can overcome his demons, bro. He's playing all default everything. The serious Ooh. mode. Gets the clean attack, dude. Being able to get the ground bounce there and get into the jump loop, keeping it super optimal. Mm. There we go. Virgil's out of here. It's because I touched grass, Enduran. Oh! The block is able to bait out the Lariat. X Factor from both players. TJ looking so good right now. There we go. Oh no, TAC break. Uh, Captain Troy, I respect that. Captain Troy said, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. <laughs> I respect that. Charismatic action. Score Viper does need to be in six. She needs to be in that game. 100% oh. vacuum on that. Clean hit, clean follow up. TAC gets it back to the ground. Hulk, it just jumps away, up back. I think that's the first time I've ever heard that. The seismos. Oh, see, right there when you have the Sentinel calls, that's when Optic Blast would be perfect against this team. Oh, tail in. Okay, able to get out. Even on the odd hit, though, you're still able to get some kind of mix up there because it knocks them down. Jumps over with the S. Oh. Finds the connection. Wasn't ready, though, too far. Okay. Burn kick almost at it. Oh, tech at the top. Just duff Sentinel for calling his assist every time. Oh, you, you, you know I'm looking for the optic blast. You know. You know. I think that's, like, the one thing if Tony started using a little bit more, it would definitely help the size mode game. Yeah, I mean, it is one of the best grounded projectiles in the game. It's very good. It's very good. Trying to get start, though. Gamma Wave looking for the chip. Tony trying to get away and does get the tag, but no X Factor Wesker. Oh, kind of in a weird situation here as uh, Wesker is certainly going to die. No, he is not. He is back in it. That's Tony Kill you talking about, bro. Level three. Yes, Hulk is out of here. Just down to the robot. Can he make it happen? Three bars. Bro, who put TJ in the losers? I don't know. That's a good question. Combs finds the throw. Needs another hit, though, or TAC. Got the TAC. Going to build enough bar. No, breaks. Looking for the fall of TAC of his own. Definitely good. Being caught in his own movement, flying for a little bit too long. But I love this patience, but look at the time. Five. Once he builds two, yeah, never mind. It's over. Oh, and then mashes out on the lights. Tony Killa. One to zero. He's doing his thing. He said, he said, Yuli put TJ in the losers? That's what I heard. That's hard, that zero matchup. Ooh, I tell you what's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Tony Killer win, baby. Hurricane Kitten coming through with the gift sub. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, the standing light to pick that up is so damn smart. How often do you really get to see Hulk standing light super effective in combos? <laughs> Today? 
I, wonder, I mean, standing lag is always effective when you're doing uh, when you're doing ground bound stuff. Y'all not Hulk players. Y'all don't know. Uh, but he normally goes for the jump loop, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you non Hulk players. Bro. Hey, come on, come on, come on. First of all, I didn't say I knew. Y'all be playing these characters with finesse, you know? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. DXP, I'm not betting with you, bro. Oh, I'll bet with you, bro. <laughs> Rizzo, the command is exclamation bracket, by the way. Ah, uh, Viper, nah. big trouble. Oh. Ooh, no, right into the game of charge. Yeah, TJ not really letting Tony play his game. Tony likes to dash up before he hits the raw S, right? That's what makes it so effective. But TJ is just putting out those gamma charges preemptively. Stuff in the dash. Okay, teleport out. Possibly an X here. Yeah, good push guard. He knew. Oh, my goodness. Caught him on the air whiff. Bro, he's in the, the paralysis. Yeah. He's just staring at him. <laughs> Menacingly. Good God, teleports again. I like the S there. Yeah, he knew you could. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he even practices. He practices. He, he practices. Tony Killer. Oh, my God. On that incoming, TJ's like, bro, shake me. It's my sleep paralysis <laughs> demon, bro. <laughs> Somebody shake me. <laughs> bro, that gunshot confirmed from full screen, baby. Oh, that's a, that's actually a good way to to get out of that setup there. I like. That. Damn, Tony Killer said, "I know you're not gonna super, bro. I'm in your head." You know what I think it is though. I think Tony Killer always goes for the uh, down TAC, mm. and everybody is just kind of caught on. Oh, oh, unfortunate there. That is the worst of all drops. Yep, there you go. Satan, unfortunately, checking out. But, I mean, we still got the hero of the story. Wesker's still available. That's true. I mean, Wesker did just OCV an entire team. No way. Hulk is very confused right now. That was a great adjustment from DJ, though. Oh, but you X-Factor the wrong character. That was oh. kind of cute. That was kind of <laughs> cute. I like that. Is TJ nice enough for this? Oh, the drone saves the day here. Oh, too early on the teleports. I saw what he was going for, though. It was smart play, but just executed poorly. You gonna set up a reset? Nah, nah. He's, he's gonna. I mean, it's gonna reset, but it's not gonna be like a fancy reset. Oh, never mind. You were right. You were right. I don't know. I've never played big bodies before. Yeah, you don't play high like that. Ah, uh, nah, nah. Not like this. Not like me. <laughs> DXP, hold on, I'm only up 10, bro. We'll do 10. I just want to, or am I at 20? I think it's even. I thought it was even. Oh, is it? I think it's even. You lost one. Oh, what did I lose? The last one. What does that mean? Whatever the last thing you bet was, it means everything. Yeah. Pat knows. We even? Okay. We even? Or we're going to stay even then, because I'm not betting <laughs> this. <laughs> Oh, Viper does get to go out, but Viper, Viper not gonna do well against Hulk. Oh, oh my God, especially like this Hulk, dude. And it's all this, it's all according to plan. Yeah, great conversion there off of the drones using the gamma charge off the command throw. I love it. I love it. Uh, Tony Killer not gonna be loving it for too long though. Are we out. Oh, excellent. Are we back. <laughs> yeah. He said we not outside no more. We inside. <laughs> Oh, dude, Team Super to do it. There you go, TJ overcoming his demons, bro. Three to two. So that's from two weeks ago. <laughs> TJ, too nice, bro. TJ, too nice. All right, JJ. See if he can uh, you know, close this distance. Obviously, Chris, a tall task for Hagar, occasionally, depending on the team. And Akuma does not make that any easier. I'm surprised the chat doesn't know what Flavor Bay by. Somebody, somebody should be able to answer at this point for me. But it is, uh, it is Berry's Apple Mint. Oh, that's a big hit right there. Can we get an exclamation mark vape flavor. 
Yeah. Uh, exclamation vape in the chat, bro. That's yeah. gonna be an important one. Also, don't vape, guys. I'm a big proponent of the uh, anti anti vaping campaign. Okay, look for the headbutt. Great timing there, just waiting it out, able to get the throw in between the drones and gets the snap. Wesker versus Wesker. Not something you see every day, but something I want to see every day, you know? Ooh, JJ may not want to see it, though. That's been a common thread between a lot of our recent heroes. There's been a lot of Wesker. Wesker making a comeback, though. Oh, right on the way down. Who, who, who hit him? He got hit like Jackie Chan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, good punish there, too. Calls the Lariat at a timing that makes it very difficult for the X-Factor cancel to go through. Like, a lot of the times, I'm not sure the exact explanation why, but it feels like when you're inside of a hitbox, when you press X-Factor, even if you go for something invincible immediately, you just get clocked. It's like X-Factoring inside of hard drive. It just always hits you. Look at these trades. Okay, Magnum, able to get them both. Okay, able to get just Hagar, but that's still a win for Legend here. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a thorn in his side here. This guy just spins mm. in a circle. He chicken guarded, so he had to DHC out. Smart stuff. I expect going for the super jump there, too. Maybe could have tried to cheese it with the command throw, but that would have been so risky, even if it had worked. Oh, and the raw launcher out of nowhere still works. Oh, got a hold. <laughs> oh, luckily for Legend, Akuma drops out. He doesn't have a lot of health, man. If Chris gets hit by this incoming. Yeah, you cannot try to command throw Legend. As a man who's played Legend multiple times, this dude is jumping. This is the real jump, man. Oh. Decent amount of chip from the guns here. Try to go for the launcher to get that extra damage on Akuma. From full screen, he gets punished and killed. Yeah, a little greedy on his part there. Oh, okay, okay. I, that's, I think that's the same side. I think. I shouldn't be thinking when I play this game, though. Yeah, he's going to jump, bro. He's going to jump. You got to get to him. Those air throws are very, very useful against, uh, against Legend, especially if you're playing Hagar. Oh, low profile the Magnum. Yeah, he kneeled that bullet right there, bro. He did. Hey, puts us in an awkward spot here. Five bars. A lot of room for Chip. A lot of room for Demons. Things could be brewing. Yeah, Akuma definitely not going to be a one-touch kill. Oh, oh got are him. you kidding me? <laughs> did he catch him on the teleport? Yes. And wow, what a pick up there. And that might chip out. It, wow. Living legend. I've never seen someone use five bars so fast. <laughs> yeah, we love a good raging demon out here, homie. Shout out to living legend putting on that Akuma show. Oh, and just immediately goes straight for the legs. You know, Hagar loves to jump to try and maintain that offense pipe. Pretty good. Yeah, and that's the big thing as a Hagar player. You're not expecting someone to be aggressive against you right away. You're used to people running away, so you think you got some room to play with. Legend, Legend does such a good job. Oh, never mind. Terrible job. <laughs> yeah, no. Legend does such a good job with uh, the frame traps. Not such a good job with the blocking, though, right now. <laughs> oh, just missed time. The Magnum, air to air light. Somebody check Legend Control. The back button is broke. He fixed it. That's a like cute idea. Push I think, away. I think this is the best call here you can make. Yeah, using the microwave there. You don't need to do that, though, because Sentinel is safe on that super. If your opponent gets pushed back so far, yeah. you don't have to worry about it unless it's in the corner. And if they oh. X, you X. What? You know, what do we know? <laughs> you X, I X just like that? Oh, my God, bro. X Factor come down with the pipe. Oh my god. Akuma, somebody help him. Look at his life bar. Chris, Chris saved his life right there, bro. He yeah. had one shot. 
JJ getting a little too greedy again, you know? That's the big thing. We've seen him get greedy against the assist. Lose a character for it. I said it kind of jokingly earlier, but the, the life of the team, Wesker, it feels like. The OTG. And he should just switch to Rocket Punch, you know? Channel is uh, Enter Tony Killer. So you want an OTG happy birthdays? Have I got an assist for you? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be the death of Sentinel right there. I didn't know X-Men 97 was on early. <laughs> oh, did he heal unblockable there? Either way. Uh, it, was, it was definitely not blocked at the very <laughs> least. <gasps> uh -oh. No way. Here we go. And now this is the Hagar show. Dude, his corner mix is so good, too. Oh, the swing. <laughs> <laughs> That was the most violent of axes there. One more. Oh, great meaty situation. Legend not doing a demon flip on incoming? That's crazy. Oh, that's not going to be enough. You're not going to get through that. You wasted a meter, but it's okay. You've got plenty to work with, him. but now you wasted your health bar. Uh, just like committed to something on the super jump there. Even if you whiff command throw, I don't know if you can stay in the air long enough. <laughs> you know, I don't blame JJ for trying to meaty there. That's what I would have done, too. It's Living Legend always demon flips with Akuma when he comes in, right? The one time. <gasps> what a conversion. Oh, oh, my God, in the reset. I'm choking on my spit. <laughs> dude, my dude is a mathematician, bro. He's converting everything right now. Yep, spend one, get the kill here. Looking good for JJ, though. Can't, Can't count this. Legend out yet, though. Akuma's still in the back. You're right, you're right. Wesker not here, but Akuma's still in the back. <laughs> Every time he does that uh, stand H to launch her, it scares the fuck out of me, bro. I swear he's going <laughs> to he's gonna, he's gonna knock him down. All right, good job avoiding. And this time, JJ doesn't swing. He knows... We are ambitious with the Lariat there. Has to go for the DAT. Great idea to super jump there. Best Xbox just tipped $10. Here's the $10 I owe DXPs. <laughs> All right, let's see if Legend can finish this off. Still got plenty of X-Men oh. left and the side switch and the raw launcher. That's going to kill Hagar. Sentinel coming in. He's got to watch out. Oh, no. <laughs> what a great block there. He jumped over. Clears it completely. He's going to eat a little bit of damage, but he's still in the game. Only one bar left oh. over. He dashes up, just hits him with the knee. Stand light. That's what you got hit by. What was Legend doing? He got it. Oh, my oh. Wow. By the hair on his chinny, chin, chin. If JJ Cree has any hairs on his chin, that was close, man. man. It's going to be but one of the biggest MK tournaments in the country. So... But, you know, this is going to be one of the biggest marble matches in the history of my life. To the max versus TJ. To the max and, <laughs> to the, max and the all business attire. It's all right. TJ the one giving him the business right now. But they're receiving a little bit of that corporation. Hard knockdown. Oh, Misses no. Dropped the OTG. it, though. Okay, sets that up again with the drones. Alpha counter into the hard drive, but that's a good block. How did how did two to max get that? That's not how, how that works. Why did two to max come out with the throw? <laughs> <laughs> I think even I think even some Sentinel players don't actually know how to punish hard drive properly. Yeah. It's actually a guaranteed air throw if you want. Uh, oh, we got them both. No way. Two to max. This is what happens when you don't finish your play. That's Zempel coming through with the sub, by the way, back in his homie. Yo, big shout out to everybody coming through. We're at a level four hype train right now. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Y'all been nonstop. Can't say enough, you know, just you guys are, I don't know, show us so much love, man. Like, no love here between these two, though. Not when you're playing Hulk versus Hulk. This is Marvel in the purest form. This is what it should be. Everybody should be forced to play Hulk Sentinel. <laughs> you just get to pick your anchor. 
Gonna hold on to it. I like no expected oh. there. I do not like the tag and the punish though. Yeah, he actually still got punished for that tag. I don't think he just missed the block. I think he was still in the tag animation. Hope Landon is still adjusting his hat. Right? <laughs> Cross under. Oh, good. good blocks to get out of that. Yeah, good everything there. Good mix up attempt. Good block. Good every. Oh, my God. Human rocket punch ran right into a wall, though. Oh, Mayor coming to clean it up here. Oh, boy. This is a slobber knocker. This is the kind of stuff I want to watch. Tom just said, I just want to see one hit happy birthdays every time. That's it, man. You shouldn't you shouldn't be allowed oh. to kill a character unless you're killing two, baby. <laughs> or yeah, I see two to Max is like, I'm gonna drop one, I'm gonna drop both. Oh, oh Alpha God. Counter Larian? Genius oh, level. Genius level, yeah. We we do it everything unsafe, baby. <laughs> Trojan gonna be out of business if they keep <laughs> watching this match. Oh my god. Oh no, he's still alive. He's doing Larry. That's gonna hit him. No, you should have stayed doing Larry. It. You're just doing rocket punch. Bro, today we are learning that our consequences have our actions have consequences. Good God. Now our consequences will have <laughs> actions now. All right, staying free, coming through with the 500 bits. I appreciate you, homie. One of the biggest supporters of TNS all time. Number one, clean DHC. Hard drive out. Okay, jumps right into it. Got the push guard. Yes, easy throw and punish here. Oh, yeah, it's not looking too good for TJ. Yo, Arc Forge coming through with 10 gifted subs. And, oh. and Kevin coming through with the sub as well for the 19 month. Big shout out to Arc Forge for the 10 big ones, though. Ooh, a hard drive. Okay, that was a good DHC. That was smart stuff, and two to max accidentally got hit. I like the switch here because you get to keep the drones. Two to max is definitely going to be looking for a way to snipe out Sentinel, though. That's not the way. The snap whiffed. Yeah, Sentinel one doing all the sniping here. Yeah, that's one of the unfortunate things about this matchup specifically is that you lose your Hulk. You come into a bad matchup. No versus Hulk is not what you want to see. Okay, it's gonna force some action here. No, he's gonna stay in block, and the overhead works out. To the max is gone. Hey, I mean, I feel like that's just the passive of having the green skin. He's got the uh, he's got the hell zone grenade on deck. He just couldn't see anything. Ooh. Blew a big lead there. The to the max move to Atlanta. Somebody said Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. No. Uh, sorry. Yo, happy little Xbox coming through with a gift sub. Thank you so much, homie. And Hurricane Kitten with a 100-bit donation. Thank you so much. Oh, that all combo, too. Oh my. <laughs> all my Atlanta Falcons fans knew what I was talking about. Yeah. Their mind can only go to one place. <laughs> oh, crucial drop. Was going to build the bar on the DP there. Oh. <laughs> What a throw! Was that a punish? I think. Oh, let's that go! What a huge hit there, and a huge gifted sub five of them from Staying Free. Thank you so much, Staying Free. Appreciate the support once again. And Mustard Pie coming through with five big gifted ones as well as Tuta Max catches the air to air. Okay, evens it up here, killing Hulk. Yo, big shout outs to Stayin' Free and Mustard Pie for the five gifted, getting us to like a level 500 hype train. I don't know where we're at. <laughs> Blink over. I love the use of hard drive just to escape at that point. You didn't have to super jump for the punish though, but still gets it. Oh. Oh my goodness, to the max. Blew a huge opportunity there. And now this is TJ's turn. I really thought Tuta Max had that kill on Sentinel with that X Factor, but he messed up. Oh! He's going for the infinites. You know, it's crazy to think that TJ, just a couple months ago, was playing beginner's brackets. Shout out to Rise of Rookies, but like, this is crazy. Beginner's brackets? This is the dude about to play in the all pro bracket. He got it. Let's go, TJ. TJ with the OE. Nice with it for real. Yo, Nick Sunbro coming through with the sub. Thank you so much, homie. Four months. 
And Air M converts. Yo, TJ got all the tools, man. Where's Ray Ray at? He been, he been teaching him? No way. So much damage here. We got all of it? Yeah, that's... Oh, no! Ooh. Of course! It's Sentinel. What did you expect? I like that. Don't save your boy. Just let him take oh. the damage! Calculated to let him take the damage. Knew he wasn't going to die, and he finds the rocket punch. Back in the day when it was only level 5. That's crazy. I know, right? And it would just go to 750,000%. <laughs> All right, Jason Kiddo versus Wedge. What the people wanted here. Oh, Vajra. Yeah, and he's ready for it. Bruh, the extended range? Tell me about it. I don't know nothing about extended range. <laughs> Get him up. Good DHC. Should be able to take BD right. right. Yo, BD right with 20 gifted Ooh. subs. Holy shit. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. God damn, bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jesus. I just I just learned that the slang term for a hundred dollar bill is a blue stripe. That's what that's what uh, BD Wright just spent is a blue stripe. <laughs> Yo, big shout outs to BD Wright with the twenty gifted. As Jason Kiddo is getting a shit pushed in. Brother, right whoa. whoa, yo, yo, what is going on here? Bro, Arc Forge with the 20 of his own says, let me get that too. Good God, bro. Arc Forge never gets outdone, he said. Yo, big shout out to Arc Forge. Big sponsor for TNS9, by the way. If you, uh, whoever placed in top eight and got some money at TNS9, you can thank Arc Forge for that. So, and my boy Psykillic coming through with the sub as well. We ain't never forget about you, baby. Oh, no, Wedge, you sat there for too long. Magneto's going to step all over you. We got the hyper grab as we're at the level 11 hype train right now. Thank you guys so much for the support. Hey, oh, it was looking rough with the stalking flare. I love that uh, the teleport to try and go for the side switch there. Ooh, and the disruptor! No, but he dropped it off the DI off the super jump. Oh, he had the perfect setup for to pick that up. Amazing. Side, looking for the wall cleaning. Okay. The blocks. Yo, Jason Kiddo had some really good blocks there for a second. Okay, gonna run out of X Factor here, but should kill on any touch. Oh, almost had the conversion. He dropped it. Dropped it again. Yeah, you're right. And a huge punish here from Wedge. You can kill. Oh, no. Wedge doesn't want to win, bro. That Vajra was so unsafe, too. All right. Ouroboros in this kind of situation here. And the chip is enough. He should have stayed crouching, I think. Was he crouching? Was he standing? I don't he was know. Still, he was still recovering from orbs. I do know BD Wright just gifted another sub, though. 21 now in a row. Thank you so much. And big timers coming through with the gifted sub. Appreciate the love, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, like we saw in an earlier match, you can mash crouching light and you can low profile that super from full screen. Oh, that was a throw situation, potentially. Oh, good lariat there. Perfect, my kiddo. That was all part of the plan. A lot of players will block pipe, and they know they can kind of get in and, you know, take their turn. But kiddo preemptively pushed lariat before Wedge even pushed the button. Stalking player? Yeah, I love this against Dante here. Yeah, keeping it safe. He pushes him out so he can get some sort of oki. Stalking player like to stay forever. And that paid off for him in dividends. It stuck Wedge back in the corner, allowed Kiddo to get the mix. Leaving Wedge again with just Strider. Big shout out to everybody showing mad love once again, though. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the reason this channel has been alive for so long. Okay, X Factor. Three characters to go, though, so it's really going to only have time for two, unless Orb just kills him so damn fast. Hagar, you're going to have to spend three, that's for sure. Ramora gifting a sub as well. Big shout out to the homie Ramora. That's my bro. You already know. Might not end up having two instances of orbs here to be able to fight Dormammu. Here comes the first. He gets the clean hit right away. x is running out right there. Oh, Vodra didn't. Good slide. Oh, almost the conversion there. This is going to be tough for Kiddo. He can't get hit at all. But he does have Ooh. three. Oh, it doesn't matter how many meters you have. Wedge is coming for that ass. <laughs> 
That's twice in a row in long block string situations. The kiddo has just gotten hit, I believe, just holding up. He hit him with that tech and wave dash and it went low, bro. Oh, oh what <laughs> the? <laughs> bro, that was the absolute best thing he could have done there. Genius stuff from kiddo. He took that big step back, knew he could OTG and get the ground bounce. Oh my god, and tags back in Hagar just I don't to be know. able to swing. Why was that pipe so much funnier than all the other pipes? <laughs> I feel like it made a different noise. <laughs> no, JJ Cree has been eliminated from bracket in the top eight qualifier. Oh no. X Factor. Oh, off the flame. He had a tough matchup, Cree. Kiddo, though. <laughs> Kiddo don't care about matchups. He's out here dominating right now. And he finds the air throw right away. He's able to sneak past the jam session. Dude, Deadfall has not been able to get going. I feel like most of the Deadpools have been getting beaten up tonight. Yeah, they <laughs> it's have not been, been man. a Deadpool night, dude. Look, Deadpool has been dominating TNSs for too long, all right? Oh. It's time for payback. Oh, and Wedge, X-Factor unnecessarily, actually. Same word. Oh, huge opportunity for Punish there. Jason Kittle just wanted to get out, and I can't blame him as Wedge misses the pickup. In the Hagar Wesker era right now. Yo, big shout out to everybody that came through for that. The hype train is now over. Y'all can stop now. But that was 90 subs and 700 bits. Thank you guys so much. And Muang Chicken said, let me give you some dessert. <laughs> that was the that was the biggest hype train we've had all year, I believe. So thank you guys so much for the support. Hey, Hagar dead mid screen. You know what happens next? Tag. Time for the left right. Oh, oh I was expecting jam session, but you know what? That Major one seems to work just as good. Oh, okay, I like that. Yeah, uh, with the almost, meter, don't yeah, go yeah, for yeah, the infinite, yeah, bro. Yeah. Just kill him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought he was gonna go for it. <laughs> I, also thought, I didn't think the hammer was going to hit. <laughs> I, was, I was ready to go. Muang Chicken, though, said Korean server dead, but I'm not. Yo, big shout outs. I know they just canceled, like, the ability to stream Twitch from Korea. Yeah. And, and Jason Kiddo just canceled Wedge's ability to play Deadpool. Money bags, a man of his word, coming through with the sub. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. No. Dante was going the wrong way. That million dollars was in the hole. All right, Strider coming in here. Magneto still with X Factor. This is going to be massive. Damn, Wedge, still fighting. No more X Factor left. And that grabber squeeze isn't hitting anybody. Just canceled you on Twitter for trying to squeeze. All right, coming down. What, what was what was that button? I actually don't know what hit what it. Was that, what was that? Come on, professional Strider player. I did not see it. <laughs> Bro, do, you, do you ever watch the match? You ever oh, watched match God. before? Oh, it was the, he dove off a wall cling? That's so silly. It's all right, though. Jason Kittle still able to keep it going here. Finishes it off. And Wedge, who got second or third last week, top three last week, uh, is eliminated.